So now we've got Glib. Recommended LibXSL2, we've got PCRA we haven't built yet. Um, and then it's got some others like Dbus, which again needs um, things like um, Xorgon thing, I believe. It's, I don't remember. Let's just take, yeah, Xorg libraries are recommended. Um, what was I? GDB. Optional GDB 9.1, I think that had a load of, yeah, so this looks like this is going to be another one to make a note of to reinstall at a later date. So I'll make a note of this. I'll install it now without these optional, but I will reinstall it. So that's glib 2.26.4. And some runtime dependencies there. Let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, again, this is getting into the area of um, like uh, X orgy type things, like graphical type things. Yeah, I think we've got this one already. So, um, yeah, I'll leave that one for now as well. It says some of these two packages are needed for some of the tests. So I think these are again related to kind of GUI stuff. Well, maybe not. Maybe not that one. Glib is that one of the ones we've got to install? That's what we're trying to install, isn't it? Oh, okay, these. Well, this might be okay to install actually. These two. Time dependencies. Yeah, I think I'll install them. They don't look like they're too onerous. Um, although its tool is something we're trying to build. Yeah. Let's have a look at that one. Oh, we can build that because we've already installed that. So I'm going to move that all the way to the end here. Um, which one was it? Desktop was it? That one. Yeah. So that's a requirement of that. So it looks like, yeah, we can't install that one until we've got glib installed. That's why it's just a runtime dependency. And also same with glib. So we need to install glib after these, uh, sorry, before these two. So I'm going to move that there. And let's have a look at this PCRE. That just needs its valve grind. So I think we can safely go for PCRE and for now that will fulfill at least the recommended and we can after we've installed GDIB I think we'll install these two and if it needs a test um, Test suite, yeah. I think let's get PCRE done. We can read that once we've got this one out of the way. So let's go back to this and look for PCRE. So there's two here it's PCRE and PCRE2. We want PCRE 8.44, which is one that's highlighted, so that's good. So, okay, I'm going to try the D here, download on FT the FTP link, see if it works. Um, Save to disk. Okay, yeah, so it looks like maybe the way that I was downloading is how it has affected how it's coming down. Okay, so PCRE. 
huge configure command. Let's check actually if there's any additional options. Good lit up, lib b zeb, lib read line, cell static. Okay, there's an extra option here, enable JIT, enables just in time compiling, which can greatly speed up pattern matching. So that sounds like a good option to have. So what I should do is just copy the config command on its own, paste that in, and then add in this enable JIT. And configure that. So we should see that has been added there it is there. It's enabled. So now we can run make. <clears throat> And make check to test it. Looks all good. So let's become the root and install it. Yep, that's good, that's all done. So come out of that, remove PCRE, and I'll tick that one off the list. So that's in section 9. With P, uh, PCRE 8.44. 